is it? One, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four, five. Got 20 of those. Puzzle pieces. You know what hub this is. The Otter. Otter insulated XDH Pro Resort. And there's the 20. I have 20 of these block thingies here. These uh, puzzle pieces. Another set up here, two low windows there. That's where I don't know what I'm doing with that quarter anyway, but Get my hose hole here, probably gonna run the heat. My heater, buddy heater there, hose coming out of there. My entrance, you can knock your boots off there. Yeah, I'm gonna punch some punch some holes out there out of that one. Maybe that one. Yeah, to show you how big that is. I got 20 puzzle pieces and it doesn't even, I mean, I could still put another five there, another five there, and like, well, basically I'd have to put all four there too. So I'd need another, what, 15, 14 pieces just to finish this off. Let's show you how big this, this thing is. Right? What it comes with it comes in a nice pouch here it's got your little uh tag there to put your license if you need that look at that all these pegs beauty come with these little caps yeah little caparoos all right i'm gonna peg this baby down show you how good these uh, ice anchors work you see how they're kind of Kind of get skinny there, like the inside part gets skinny. Show you, jamming in the ice here. Do a one hander. Once you get it threaded, once you get that threaded, these are like, look at this. It's just going right in. Going. I'm not even trying here, it's just sucking itself in. Put no pressure downwards. It just goes right in. Okay, and before I go get too deep here, I just just grab this little strapperoo. Comes with an already already made loop here. You just shove it in there. Like that. Oop, grab this end. Right there. When you're done using this, it just, you just kind of shove it in these little pockets they have here. Really well made. All right, I'll finish it off. Just a quick little tip here. This, this is a six-sided hut, and uh, I don't feel like putting down, you know, every single peg there. I could do all six six hub sides, like where I'm pointing. Oop, sorry. Like what I'm pointing at here. So all I did was drive a drive one peg there. I'm gonna grab my rope from that hub. Put it on here. Let me get my phone down here. Give me a second. And then I grab that one and put it on the same peg here. I'm trying to do this one handed. That one, like that one. There we go. See? Now, if you were, now, if you were anticipating the wind coming from like from from behind me here, and that's the direction that you wanted to peg it down, you could do something like that. There you go. All right. With the, uh... Buddy heater here. It's not the uh, small one. Ah, the small one in this style, but it's not the bigger one. And I got the uh, little hose here. Goes to a full size 20 pound propane tank. 
definitely not cold out today. I mean, the sun's out, and uh, yeah, super beautiful out. But yeah, so it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> see it we got didn't bring much because i kind of just quit drinking a couple months ago and a month and a half ago quit drinking because i got sick i tried to do some videos for you guys and uh a few times i did try going out i wah, wah, it was just nothing was working out i was sick my kids were, were sick the wife was sick my days off and then uh it got super cold out for the past few months i mean like cold every day just minus 40s even up to minus 50 and uh that's why i haven't really gone out and actually today i wasn't even supposed to come and videotape anything i have my phone on me and bring my little clipper do that goes on my uh on my tripod so i'm just kind of half-assing it today and uh I got about two inches of tequila rose in here. That's just for a little, little tasty, little treat, a little grown-up treat. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna film this today. Now I haven't even brought my uh, charger to keep me going. Anyways, just gonna wing it, wing it, and hopefully uh, March, March comes around, and uh, it'll be warm enough to do a bunch of, a bunch of videos. And just a shout out to. Uh, well, I forgot your name. Hang on. Yeah, shout out to uh, Dallas. Dallas. You wanted me to do a video on the Red Hub Shelter and why it's so hard to put away. And I know why it is. And I tried a couple times to get out there with it. And uh, it's coming eventually. It might be too late for you. It might be a winter over style for you, wherever you are. You said you're living up north. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so I've seen people complain about this, about this hub shelter, is that, oh, the sun's right in my face. Let's do this side. So there's the door. You unzip that in the door, and then uh, I said, oh, the flap goes over the door. Oh my God, look. Now we try to get out. We've got this big flap, this big flapperoo stopping us. Well. Super easy fix, cause look, you grab this. What do you got there? You got your hub poles. You can stick your finger behind there, can't you? Look at this. You basically grab a one-hander like that. Wait, let me do it properly. Grab it like that. Wham! Look at that. Problem solved. That being the only slight issue with this hub. I am super, super impressed with with the, uh, the otter, the big otter six-sided hub. It's huge. I mean, it's just huge, 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 huge. I camped out in it my first time doing a, a video for you guys. And I plan on doing some more, and I plan on doing uh, summertime with it. We'll see how it holds up in the rain, if it rains. If it doesn't rain, I'll pour a bucket of water on it or something. Anyways, I gotta drill some holes. Probably gonna poke one here, poke one outside, and I'll get back to you. Do some modifications. I figure if I cut this a little thicker, let me measure of my phone here. Yeah, right around there. Get a little wedge. Put my knee on here. Kind of go like this. side too. There we go. DIY. DIY. Aha. All right. Hang on. You see a little bit of the foam there if I tilt it. Here we go. Hey. Look at that. I got me a... I've got me a, a leaning tripod. It wobbles. Oh, you know what? There we go. 
There we go, Dangus. You got her. Look at that. Okay. Now, time to drill a hole. Now, I came here yesterday, open ice fish, came here with the old man, and, uh, well, as, as cold as it's been, still, Gotten so much snow that so much snow that created lots of slush. And I couldn't even drive the sled around here without sinking, so we packed it down. I packed it down yesterday in a circle, hoping to fish yesterday and I couldn't. And now today I come back and uh, as I figured it's all frozen up, so I got a spot here to ice fish. But I got a feeling be a lot of auger in here to get through this ice so probably gonna time lapse this oh, that's the layer now we're in the slush That much ice. Not that much ice. Let's see here. Hopefully, today is the day. Actually, catch a fish on camera or a fish, period. Because I've been getting too lucky lately. What do we do with slush? All the slush here, open this window, chuck that out. We don't need that in here. Take enough room for nothing. Right out there. Look at this. Hey, hey. We got bait. Live bait. This is a guy who learns from his mistakes right here. We got shiners. If you don't know what a shiner is, I'll tell you why it's called a shiner. That's why. Oh. It's because they're shiny. See that? Shiner. I'm a shiner. I'm a shiner. A shiner. <laughs> All right. Got yeah, here is quarter ounce jig. Quarter ounce jig head. I got a little uh, stinger on there. So let's see here. What I do is I like to do is go just just below the dorsal fin there. Go sideways through them, kind of like that, and then uh, grab by the head there. Put your triple hook right up, right up in his snout here, like that. Just like that. Okay, this is how you end up. Right there. See that? Let's drop this down. And see what happens. Hopefully we get lucky today. All right. That's pretty dirty water here. Just on the little, uh, kind of a little bay, a little inlet that comes from the river. It's actually wide open water over there. And there's a uh, 
power dam up there. Some pretty extreme rapids there. What's this? This is a paper towel coffee. Piece of paper towel. Rolled it up and twisted it. Because I always forget something. <clears throat> I forgot a way to make coffee. I didn't bring French press. I didn't bring any kind of coffee making thing. So look at that. Sucking it out like a wick. Mm-mm. You know what I'm gonna do? See all the grinding. It's perfect. That's why I did that. Hey, okay. life hack right there. If you don't want to eat the grindings in your camp coffee, you need out of a paper towel. Bring some tequila rose. <laughs> I think I just invented something. That is like... Wow! That's like a <clears throat> shot of strawberry. It's a bush... A bush Starbucks. Oh! Selfie! <coughs> Not bad, little guy. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Just pulled a hog out. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that hog. Oh. I gotta weigh this up. <laughs> Look at this. 6.5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Win. This definitely breaks my uh, getting skunked spell. My fail spell. Alright, let the video keep this. Look at that. Look what happened here. Got a line going in the hole. <laughs> That's my fish TV. That's my monitor that was in the water. Watch when I pull in this line. Pulling up the pike and then, uh, and then uh, I got caught up in my camera from my fish TV, <laughs> and I ended up having to pull it through with my fish camera. Pulled up on my my camera. The <laughs> oh, number three. It's number three. So I got my fish TV here. And it's like basically too dark. This water's too murky to even find my lure. I'm only uh, I don't know. Nine inches, eight, nine inches, nine inches away. But 
if I see, uh, you know, some floaties going by, getting stirred up from the bottom, then I know, at least I know there's something around. That's three out of this hole so far. Got the plug that comes with it, plugs into your power, and then it just goes into uh, little alligator clips. And then uh, that's just a battery from my portable fish finder. Any 12 volt uh, supply will work. Sure beats putting, uh, what is it, 8 or 12 C batteries under there? <laughs> you get pretty expensive. Anyway. The reason I'm kind of being uh, hushed a little is because there's some, some guys that showed up over there and I can hear them plain as day talking and uh, <laughs> I just find it weird talking to myself in front of them. So that's why I'm talking kind of low here. I might actually uh, throw in some narrative uh, stuff there at the end instead of the. Uh, all the talking, just do some video. Anyways, pretty good so far. Got a nice tequila rose coffee, which is a, a win. I caught three pike out of the hole. One with my uh, fish TV. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, but I'm thinking of spending the night here. I gotta go to work tomorrow, travel tomorrow to work, but so nice out here. I don't know how it's going to get at night, but we'll see. Play it by ear. Hog. That's a hog. It's about two pounds there. <laughs> I just lost something on that one. So, that hog just destroyed, destroyed my rig here. So, let's retie this. I'm going to show some of you people out there who have a hard time with the, uh, hard time with uh, tying your, your bait back on here. i rip this little thingy off here from the triple hook. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this work in front of the camera here. So, put it through the hole. Okay, now you're through the hole like this. Stick your middle finger, oop. Okay, stick your middle finger here, like that. <laughs> okay, and you grab this and you Go around seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you got an X. X looking thing here. Okay. You grab your your loose end. Stick it between your finger and that X. Right in this hole. Then the hole that your thumb is in from doing that. You pass it right back through there. And you should end up with something like that. Then you grab it here, right the knot, and put your kind of thumbnail right on it. And you cinch it down. Now you go with your teeth, you grab the, the loose end again. Full. Cinch. Cinch it down again. Pull, and then just pull on your line and the hook. Kind of help cinch it a little bit, give it a couple wax. And there you go. Now you just trim off the excess. Got these nice uh, Rapala pliers for this. Good enough. Oh, maybe I'll take that off. Now 
using braided line here just because it's so much stronger and durable. It's one of those big pike hit. Okay, I'm gonna get a uh, treble hook on there. All right, it's now 5:25, and uh, I'm a bit cold in here. It's minus 13 out. It's supposed to dip down to minus 18 in within uh, an hour and a half. So. I got this thing on a full blast here. I think that's uh, 19 or 9,000 BTUs. This thing, and it's full blast. Got the, got the high and low, and then uh, threw this thing on and heated up in here right away. I didn't even shore up the, the corners of snow, so there's a bunch of cracks. This this thing. On. Probably caught about 10, 10 pikes up there. Big one. Well, this wasn't much of a video, but <clears throat> here I am packing up and got my flashlight. So I'm packing up by uh, Luma. Just kidding. By sled light. <laughs> 